Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin from Shoreline Outdoors, and today I am going to be making a simple catfish bait that everyone online that I've read or in all the reviews that I've read says works great. We're going to try it. And what does it consist of? I got these no name, what's the brand? Gwaltney hot dogs uh, from Walmart. They sell these are like 89 cents a pack. Uh, so I got that. Also, the other secret ingredient, Kool-Aid. Now I've gotten two different flavor Kool-Aids. Here, I've gotten cherry, and I've gotten grape. Now I've seen some videos where guys say Tropical Punch works good. Um, there was one other flavor. I haven't heard anything on orange or any, any other flavor like that. Um, I think the darker colors are what works the best. That's what I'm gathering. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to whip these together, uh, refrigerate for an hour or two. And I'm going to try them out, see if they work. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I've already pre-sliced these so they come right out. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. These come eight to a pack. Slimy. Now I guess with these is you don't have to wipe them down or anything like that. So the slimier the better. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let me just angle my camera down a little bit here so you guys can see. Perfect. What we're going to do, now this would work better if I had a cutting board, but I'm using the paper towel because they will make a mess. And all you're going to do is cut these into about one inch pieces. Like that. Going to go ahead, get, get yourself some Ziploc baggies. Go ahead and toss these in once you've pre-sliced them. Let me go ahead and just cut these up real quick, guys. Because with the catfish, they don't really have the biggest mouths, or not at least these ones that I find around here. Um, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. They do have big mouths, the, the bigger ones. Because I saw actually somebody at a pond up the street actually caught one, hooked onto a little channel, and a bigger one came up and tried to eat the channel. So the big ones are out there. So real quick, just going to go ahead, pre-slice these, cut, 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 cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a batch of cherry and we're going to do a batch of grape. We're going to see which ones work the best. Go ahead get these in my Ziploc bags. And one other thing that uh, you probably could use that would probably help would be like if you had a little bit of garlic just to sprinkle in there. But I'm just going to leave it for this recipe, what I was told. I'm just going to leave it with the hot dogs and the Kool-Aid. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, one inch pieces. And I guess if you get bored while waiting for the fish to bite, got a snack for myself. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take our, we're going to do the cherry first. We're going to take our cherry Kool-Aid. 12 cents a pack, guys. Can't go wrong. And that the Kool-Aid will stain your fingers, so you got to be very careful. It does make a mess. I'm going to dump Kool-Aid right into here. Two packs is what I heard for eight hot dogs. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. Smells good. I'm going to go ahead and get the air out of there. Squish this down. I'm going to kind of give you a nice little shake. And already, you see that color. Now, hot dogs generally will fall off of your hook. But with the Kool-Aid, 
I'm thinking that the sugary blend will give it that hard coating to make it stay on better. I'll tell you what guys, coloring is awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that on these. Looks really good. Almost looks like a candied hot dog. All right. That should be good. Refrigerate, like I said, for an hour or two before using. Now what we're going to do is we did the cherry. Let's go ahead and start the grape. Same thing. Take our pack of hot dogs, off-brand. Gonna go ahead and pull these up. Slice these bad guys up real quick. Of course, I'm cross-contaminating because I already have cherry. I don't think that's gonna matter on my fingers with the grape. We're gonna go ahead and cut these up into pieces. all in the bag. Put that in there. Only got four more here guys. Whip these up real quick for you. Alright, let's see. Got these. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Put the rest of these in here real quick. Let's go ahead, let's try our grape. Like I said, I hope the cross-contamination doesn't work. I don't think so. If anything, maybe a little, add a little something extra, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead. It smells really good. Probably better than it tastes. My son's actually in behind the scenes. He's laughing at me. Hey but guys. You know what? They can't see your face. You gotta get down there. <laughs> like a new haircut? Yeah, my son just got a brand new haircut. So what are you doing? So what we're doing. Hey, do me a favor so they can see me. Can you lift that up and face it towards me? I'm going to have Bryce, my son, help me with... I'll be your cameraman. The cameraman. Today. Perfect. Hold it just like that. So we're going to go ahead, guys. Almost looks like... Ugh. Like black licorice. But you know what? Maybe we'll catch that big cat. That'll give you a dollar if you eat one. No. But like I said to these guys here watching, hey, if you ever want a little snack while you're fishing, <laughs> come up a little higher so they can see. Okay. Stop right there. I actually did just get a brand new GoPro too. I'm gonna try that out today too. See how that works. I'll have it attached to me guys so when I'm fishing, it'll be a better, uh, better shot for you guys. Perfect. All right guys, so what we got, Red licorice and black. Yeah, we got the hot dog cut into one inch pieces with the red Kool-Aid here. And, so they can see, sorry if it's all wavy guys. He's new, he's an amateur cameraman. We got the black licorice hot dogs, we're gonna call them. See, that's what happens when the hot dogs smoke, right? They get black. All right. They get burnt. So, like I said, guys, this recipe I did was no more than just a couple things of... We got grape Kool-Aid. We got our cherry Kool-Aid. And I'm going to put the description below on how to make these. It's real easy. Get yourself just some cheap storage bags. Probably some gloves. You can see my hands are all black. Sure, you guys probably have gloves. Yeah, and if uh, Bryce can hold that steady for a second, we're gonna go ahead, plop these in the refrigerator right here. Like I said, 
hour or two, probably the longer the better, so that can almost be like a like jelly and really hardened because like I said, hot dogs just uh, they don't like to stay on the hook. So, but anyways, guys, so we're gonna give this a shot a little bit later on in the next video. Uh, see how it works. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna try out the new GoPro as well. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, go ahead and please like, subscribe to the channel. Um, for any of you guys that like football, I know that this is this channel is not football; it's fishing and about the outdoors. But me and my son Bryce actually follow us a fantasy football duo. We have some YouTube uh, videos as well. Go ahead and like and subscribe to that. And pretty much, guys, over here. That's it. So take care and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.